Hello and good morning. Welcome to Wordex. I'm your host, Stephen Kefas. Today, we will be talking about the continuous activities of armed bandits and kidnappers along the dreaded Kaduna Abuja Expressway. Last week, during this discussion, we talked about the claim by the Nigerian military that they've been able to carry out air raids on locations of the bandit. When we ask fundamental questions such as, where are the kidnapped victims? A few days after that claim, kidnapping activity have continued along the expressway. On Tuesday, a vehicle was attacked and the driver was killed and a military personnel was also injured. The question is, why are these kidnappings still ongoing despite the huge security allocation in the state? Kaduna State is one of the most fortified states in terms of security architecture or security structures. The military, the police, the air force, the navy, every other security structure in this country is situated in Kaduna. Yet, Kaduna today is the most insecure state in Nigeria. The question is why? What is happening? The state government has spent billions of naira on security, yet nobody is safe. A former senator, Sheo Sani, representing Kaduna Central, made a tweet yesterday on his official Twitter handle, though it sounded like a joke but the tweet has a meaning. He said, and I quote, I just finished supervising my poultry farm along the Kaduna Abuja Road via Zoom. That is how bad it is that a farm owner can no longer go to his farm to supervise his livestock. Instead, he utilizes Zoom to check how his livestock are doing. Now, this is the reality in Kaduna State. And the state government seems not to be bothered by all these happenings. Instead, you see the state governor tweeting frivolities, frivolities on his Twitter handle. They've been lies and counter lies. They've been media frenzies on how the military have gone to chase the bandit. Yet the bandit regroup and continue to carry out their nefarious activities. The people of Kaduna are left to fail for themselves. It's about survival of the fittest. And what is more baffling is the fact that most of the people that are being kidnapped are poor. And most times people have to sell their landed properties, ancestral land, to be able to pay ransoms. This is how bad it is in Kaduna. People like myself can no longer travel to Kaduna by road. The journey between Kano and Abuja ought to be maximum three hours. But today people cannot travel by road. And taking a flight from Abuja to Kano, a very short distance flight of about 400 or less than 400 kilometers, is now about 71,000 Naira. Minimum wage in Nigeria is 30,000 Naira. So an average Nigerian worker cannot afford 71,000 Naira flight. Yet that is the reality today. So you are forced to travel along that road. And if you are not so lucky, you get kidnapped along the line. If you cannot pay ransom, you get killed along the line. That's the reality in Kaduna today. So we will continue to call on the government to do the needful. But then before I go, please stay safe. If it is not so urgent, don't travel along the Kaduna Abuja Expressway. If you must travel, please be vigilant. Thank you until I come your way next time. Do have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. I remain your host, Stephen Kefas. Bye-bye.